Hi, Amy at Fashion Tappings with my Ipsy for the month of July. It showed up and let's see, I just got a uh, filming a thrifting video and what you're going to see this outfit on the thrifting video coming up and just went and got my hair changed. I used to have per the pink purple and I went to hot pink. I don't know if it's much, much of a difference, but then I tried something new. I love this month's bag. Well, I don't really care for like the bag itself. The bag itself is just, it's okay, but I know it's hard to come up with a different idea every, every month. But, um, so the bag is just okay itself. But the contents are once again well worth the $10 a month. I am in love with this subscription. Okay, first thing that's in here, I'm gonna try each one of them all, since I'm taking them out of the bag and now I don't have that much makeup on. I'm gonna try each one of them. Now this one, I did peek because uh, Jen from Little Back, Little Black Bag Attic, she got hers, and I was hoping my bag was going to be exactly like hers because she got some good stuff in it. So I had to peek so I knew what I was getting. This is the Mon Mongongo. Well, it's a Jersey Shore Sun Nutrient Dense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. And I love these kind of things. I get excited when I get chapsticks. Mm. It has a strong pina colada flavor to it. Mm, I love it. Not flavor, but when you put it on, the scent, the, the sensation, right away you're thinking pina colada. It's got a coconut, pineapple type twist to it. Oh, it feels really good. So this is my style. I like this kind of stuff um, because it seems like we get a lot of red lipsticks, which I got another red lipstick this month, but that's okay. But it seems like every time I get a lipstick, I get a red. And I don't wear red. It might, you know, I, I try to use, I use that the stick from last month, that little stick that keeps it from bleeding in the lines. It does help. But with a bold color like this, I don't think it'll do the trick. Let's see. Okay, I do have lip gloss on. Let's give this a try. This is the, the color. It's uh, Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And I don't have my glasses on. I have got sunglasses, but, um, and I can't read it for the life of me, but I think the color just says pink. But it is, uh... It's like a mauve red, which is okay. It's better than red, like the Essie Lauder one I got the one month, or the Red Door one that I got that was just like scarlet red. Let's see how this one looks. It goes on smooth. Oh, it's not an obnoxious red. It's very subtle. Oh, I like it. It's, I mean, it's as subtle as putting on a lip gloss. Oh, I'm, I'm really happy. I was a little scared when I saw this online. When I looked at Ipsy, I was like, oh, crap. I'm getting another bright lipstick. But as you can see, it's more of a mauve red. The name, it just says pink. It looks like, at least. I don't have my glasses on, and it's so damn small. But um, I like the color. So it's very subtle, and I like subtle lip colors. Except for my purple that I get um, from that I got last month, uh, the Bittersweet. I love that one. Okay, the next thing I got, I'm saving the best for last though. Okay, the next thing is, I'm not sure if I'll wear this. It is Eye Teeny. Now we've gotten Nail Teeny, we've gotten Eye Teeny, and we've gotten Lip Teeny, I think. We got all the little teenies from this company. But this one's called Eye Teeny. It has little, the little martini gloss on it. I like the polish and stuff that we got, and I do like the products. But this one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, Use it or not, I am going to give it a try because it'll be different. Because I, I have dark brown eyes, and look at this color. It is a bright blue, and it is called Swizzle Stick Eyeliner, in the color Blue Hawaiian. Once again, really small. I think it's Blue Hawaiian Elon. I can't tell, but let's see the color. Wow! It is a turquoise, bright turquoise. So I'm not sure because I. I'm already smeared up here, but I normally only wear natural colors, and I, you know, if I'm going to have a wild color in my eye, it's going to be like a plum or a navy blue. I've never tried that before, so this will be interesting. On one of my upcoming videos, I might try to wear it, and we'll see. So, got the eyeliner. The next we got, uh, now Jen got this one too, Jarrell Parker Cologne, a perfume, and the name is... It's not caution flammable. Um, let's see if the bottle says it. The outside of the container to say caution flammable. Okay. This is Joelle Parker Classico. 
and it is a perfume. And thank goodness it is a rollerball. I love rollerballs. It's got the rollerball top. Oh, it's very pretty. Some people might think it's aged, as in, I, there's been some perfumes on here on Ipsy that I've always said, oh, I love the smell. And then I watch a young girl open Ipsy on her video, and she'll be like, it smells like my grandmother. <laughs> it's something somebody old would like. <laughs> so I'm always afraid to say anything about perfumes. Um, but uh, I, I like this. But some people will think it's, it's a more mature scent. But I like it. I do. I like it. It's very, it's very floral. Put it that way. It's very floral. But I do get a kick out of watching some of the younger girls when they get perfumes and see what their opinion is on them. Okay, this next thing. This is like the P de Resistance or whatever. I don't know. This is like the highlight of the bag. Tarte. I'm so excited I got this. Tarte Bronzer in the color Park Avenue Princess. Perfect. Look at that color. And not, I got it right here. A little bit of shimmer, but not much. But I love, it's just a simple bronzer, no fancy, multiple colors in there, and a lot of uh, shimmer and illuminators and all that kind of stuff. It's just a basic bronzer. And so this is what I was so excited about getting, and it's from Tarte. So this month was a good month. So I got the bronzer, which is my fave. That's my favorite out of the bag. The Joel Parker perfume, which is really pretty. It's probably not going to be an everyday scent for me, but it is really pretty. Very floral. And then the iTini turquoise eyeliner, which I might have some fun with. Maybe I'll do just the, like, the outside corners in it one day and give it a try. But that's what I like about Ipsy. You only spend $10 in the month, and you can tell I'm having a hot flash. Can you see the sweat coming? Oh, my God. Um, you only spend $10, and that's it. You get to try stuff you wouldn't normally try. I would never normally try this color eyeliner. But so I'm gonna give this a try. I'm excited about that. The lipstick, I would have been scared to death of this color. If I saw that in the store, I wouldn't have bought it. But I like it. I do. I will keep this in my purse. And then this is really nice too. This is the Mongongo. It's like it smells like a pina colada. I don't remember. I said it is uh, Bella Pierre lipstick was, was that one. So good month this month and uh, average looking bag. But um, like I said, you can only get so creative so many months in a row and please everybody. So it's a cute bag. It's not one of my favorites, but it is cute. All right. Well, that is my Ipsy for this month of July 2015. This is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.